And now, your local weather authority forecast. Wintry weather was a big story yesterday, and now we're dealing with the cold air left behind this morning. This is a live look at the tall city early on your Monday morning, day after April. Super Bowl Sunday. I know many of y'all are starting to wake up or, you know, about to wake up. It's pretty cold air. We got a good look at the Wilco building. Dark skies indicating very clear skies. Satellite and radar showing the past 18 hours. Rain and wet snow showers that moved through the northern part of Texas. Now moving through Oklahoma. And we did see some snowflakes in Midland and Odessa. Cumulating snow, though, generally was to our north as we're now dealing with again, very clear skies here in the basin. And a lot of these clouds starting to dissipate, giving way to Again, clear skies in eastern areas of the basin. Air temperature 30 in Midland, 31 in Big Spring, and pretty cold. Places like Marfa, 16 degrees at the current air temperature, 24 in Alpine. Many starting off below freezing. Even look, look at that, 33 in Presidio. Eventually, we'll be warming up, though. But again, make sure you guys bundle up. It is jacket weather type of weather this morning. Clear skies, 30 officially at the airport in Midland. They're pretty dry out there. 92% relative humidity at the surface, so a little bit humid at the surface, but drier in the rest of the atmosphere. Clear skies, dry air in the upper levels and light winds usually means pretty cold air sometimes left behind. We're dealing with that this morning. Good visibility. West northwesterly breeze at 9 miles per hour, making it feel a little bit colder. So again, Muddle up with some snow on the ground in Lubbock. It is 19, 23 in Amarillo, 44 in Del Rio. Warmer. Look at that. Much more warm there in uh, Corpus Christi, sitting at 52 degrees. But eventually warming up base and wine into the high 40s, 50s, and low 60s. The panhandle. Look at that, Lubbock and Amarillo, because of that snow cover, these blue colors indicate the pretty cold air for the summer of year, but cool in Midland and Odessa, right around 58 degrees this afternoon. Average high, 63, average low, 36. Low temperatures as much as nearly 10 degrees below normal. 27 this morning, warming up to 58 degrees this afternoon. Pretty light winds to start, a little bit more breezy there in Fork Stockton. Southwesterly winds picking up, so we're going to eventually be seeing temperatures start to rise as that sun rises just before your morning commute. And those west southwesterly winds picking up from 5 to 15 miles per hour. Pretty light, though, from Midland, Odessa, Big Spring. And even from time to time, those winds coming in from the north in northern areas of the basin keep things a little bit chilly throughout the afternoon. But lighter winds will ensue with more of an easterly component in those winds overnight. Easterly winds usually means more humid air, but generally we will not be seeing any rain or snow. Temperatures in the 30s and 40s overnight winds from the south and east right around 5 to 10 miles per hour. So we will be seeing cloud free skies throughout much of the basin this afternoon. Then we'll see maybe some wispy clouds overnight to tomorrow morning in the Trans Pecos along I-10. Maybe moving through I-20, but they're not going to really harm anybody. Despite the pretty cold start for some around the freezing mark tomorrow morning, very sunny, warming up to 66 tomorrow afternoon. Some high level clouds, milder and dry. Wind switching more from the south southwest, picking up those temperatures. 58 this afternoon, excuse me, 58 this afternoon, low temperature overnight, 31 into tomorrow morning, as opposed to a low temperature, 27, 28 this morning, 66 tomorrow, 69 Valentine's Day, very sunny, 70 on Thursday, then we cool off as we get to Friday and into the weekend. And uh, speaking of weather, I had a really cool weather visit. This was this past Friday afternoon at Bush Elementary School. And look at that, you know, I'm posing, giving the thumbs up to those fourth and fifth graders. And this was probably one of my best, you know, weather visits. I love all kids and I love all presentations, Matt, but they absolutely love the weather. They had so many questions and I just really love telling my story of my passion and teaching them things along the way as I well. Love it. How awesome is that? I remember you told me you were going that on Friday. Did, was there any bizarre questions? You know, kids sometimes, they ask some outrageous think. questions or, or was it just pretty, pretty even? Everyone was just asking cool questions or just interested with what you do. I wouldn't say any crazy questions, but just very interesting questions. Like one okay. person asked, has a tornado form? Okay. I'm like, I only got like five minutes. <laughs> right. I'm just going to cut And how do I put here. this in terms that you're going to understand? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right. But they're pretty smart awesome. kids. And uh, again, the, uh, you know, again, thank you, Bush Elementary. If you guys have any questions, be sure to ask me. And I uh, love visiting you guys. Love it. Sounds cool. Appreciate you for sharing that, Ryan. Of course. All right, now let's get a check outside at your traffic. You are taking a look this morning.